All right, we have a um, broken Chiro helmet. Uh, let me see that. Uh, Rock Lock 5 system. You can see over here. Plastic is broken. That should be on here. So it's completely disabled, you see. We're going to replace it. And this rock lock system is the same basically in uh, all of the Giro helmets, I reckon. So we're going to replace it. First of all, uh, you see here those plastic plastic system goes all the way to the front here. So go ahead and just clip this out of its uh, base. Then we basically have it like uh, like that. It's still uh, attached to the straps. So um, we're going we're gonna go ahead and undo uh, the helmet. And just first step, we're gonna remove. <laughs> going to remove this uh, this clip. Which, uh, which closes the helmet, you know. Clip removed. Next step is this, uh, like this connection piece that connects the straps here, you know. It may be a, a different one if it's an older helmet, but the new ones are all, okay, all come with, uh, with those. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Just like that, okay. And now we have the strap opened, you see. Now you can just basically uh, pull it out of the whole rock lock system. Also here uh, behind, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out like this. Yeah. And last, last step. Strap is all removed. And what? Uh, what? Um, what stays is just this plastic rock lock system, okay? And then, you see this thing here behind? This is basically the the, the height, height of, the, of this uh, helmet fitting system that, uh, you know, you tighten it. You can adjust this height uh, in three positions if you want. You, uh, you can choose your favorite position. And this thing you need you need to rotate it uh, 90 degrees, and then it just uh, kind of snaps out like that. So system is removed. Here we have the, the broken one. You see this thing here, broken. It's really it's really thin. So it probably at some point will will break, especially if you have like. A, uh, protective uh, in the winter under the helmet, you know, uh, like a hat, and then you just tighten it too much, and it has too much pressure on it, too much, too much tension, and then it just just snaps. So let's go ahead and put on the new one. Ah, different color. Oh, it's more stealth, gray and black, just simple, easy. So let's go. And now just do all the steps that I showed you before in reverse. So first of all, get this thing in. We're gonna not place like that, but like that, and there's just and then just re uh, rotate it 90 degrees again. So it's in. By the way, this thing here, uh, I reckon it's not removable. It better is not removable and as well as the straps inside the helmet because those are really the points where your helmet and also your uh, probably your life are attached to and saved by so uh, only this back piece that we are replacing you can, you can really remove it might be a bit tricky you maybe need to push the little little knob inside before you rotate it so let me Let's go! Finally we have it. So it's inside, you see? 
and I can just like before adjust the height as I want it. Just leave it like that, it's not really important right now. Next step is uh, reinstall uh, straps. If you have an Auto Giro helmet, you can just take it as a model and just uh, copy it as it is over here. So it's, it's going to make things a bit easier. What you need to do is, let me show it like that. So we take the strap that is loose. And we insert it from behind. <laughs> that sounded a bit wrong. Inside, uh, insert it from X, from like uh, the outside to the inside of the helmet. Next, we put the strap in here. You see it like that on one side, and then it comes back out. There we go, this should be end product you see. It goes in on one side, comes out at the other side, just like that. So next step, for the other uh, thingy here, for this like, triangle thing, you need to go from the inside of the helmet to the outside. So we're gonna put it through here, pull it through, and what we're left with is again the other side of the strap, you see? Before we attach the strap together, we already... Um, we go ahead and clip this in to this little uh, hole here. It's a little plastic uh, inside. Clip it in on the other side as well. You should hear this nice clip sound. So, we are at the point uh, which we can reinstall this thing here, which uh, basically puts the straps uh, together. And again, just uh, if you have another Chiro helmet, do not hesitate to take it as a model. The strap from the, the back of the head uh, goes in First, but it's not really important. Just first, it goes through the, the big one and comes out uh, near Chiro uh, sign. First one is easy. Second one can be a bit tricky uh, because both straps need to go through this thing, which, uh, which is a little tight over here. zoom in a bit for you. This can really be a bit tricky but just move it a bit from left to right, squeeze it in and you should be good. Let's go! Alright, then it's really uh, important that you adjust the strap uh, so it's, the, it's an equal length to the other one, which is about, it's not too bad right now. But then at the end you really need to uh, do it on your head. It's not bad, it's actually really good, yeah. So, and last point. You just insert it inside the clip again. Now here it's important, not focusing here, huh? It's important that you first go in uh, from this side here, so near the clip. Again, it can be a bit tricky because it's two things in one small open, uh, opening. And then to the back. This needs a bit fine feeling. Then just pull it through. And we are good. So it end product should look like this. If this camera is going to focus, yeah. 
Okay. And we have our helmet. Basically the rock lock uh, system is only connected to three points really. Uh, two clips here at the front of the, of the helmet and here at the back of the helmet. It's like this thing where you can adjust the height. Easy done. This thing cost me about 20 bucks. If you send it in for Tiro for replacement, you can either uh, select your warranty or you're going to pay, I don't know, but normally it's a crash replacement, but I find it, find it easier and save the, save like the, the shipping and just replace it my own. Plus I can learn some things about my helmet, which is not bad, so peace out. <laughs>